Good afternoon. Blind Prime here with an episode of Blindformers for you. Today we will be discussing Transformers Amazon exclusive Wreck and Rule collection Twin Twist. Here he is in all of his glory and we will be talking about how to transform him from robot mode to his double uh, his double um what's it mode? Drill tank mode. Oh man. Um before we really get into this, a uh, little news update for the channel. Go watch that video I did on the modular cave system on what it could look like. You know that two minute and some two minute and something second video? Because uh it was the last time you see most of it. Last night there was an incident with cream. Um, I have the modular cave system on a uh, folded up cloth so that I can move the pieces around without them getting uh, stuck to the wood, you know, from the weight. You know, they, they can get a little stuck and then you, you try to move the piece and it jumps and things can fall off. So best part, you know, best thing to do is just put them on a cloth. Well, I was lazy and it's kind of my fault. I didn't put any thumbtacks in the back of the cloth against the dresser that the cloth was on top of. So last night, while I was in here organizing some things and trying to get the place looking better, I'm, I'm trying to figure out how to bring the TIE fighter into this room and put it somewhere. Uh, Kareem wanted to be a part of it, and so he jumped up on some boxes and then leapt onto the dresser that had the cave, except when he got there, he realized there wasn't enough space for him, so he leapt away. Except his claw got stuck in the cloth, and anyone watching this video can just imagine what happened next. I luckily was nearby, so I reached over and stopped some of it from falling. Emphasize the sum. I have the double base, the one that was the river. I have the um, little two little component bases. The uh, I have three of the regular size bases that we've been, you know, the ones like we built on the channel, and then I have a double base and um, a few of the uh, the middle pieces. I have like five middle pieces left. It uh, it's devastating. The best parts about it was the um, that little cool structure that had all the windows in it. Um, I built it very well. It survived. The, uh, the piece that it connects to, the staircase piece that goes up to it, and I designed all that cool stuff so that they work together like little partners, that survived. I was very surprised. Uh, a few Legos actually shattered. I didn't know Legos could shatter. Uh, that was interesting. And, um, yeah, uh, we'll have to go to an in-depth video, and, well, I'm seeing this as an opportunity to rebuild a lot of the cave, you know, and it, it sucks that it happened, but this is, this is what happens when you own cats, you, you really, you can't, you can't stop it sometimes, cats are just gonna be cats, and they're just gonna do things that irritate you, so we clipped his claws, that's not gonna happen, I, before I put the cave back on the dresser, all five base sections and well four base sections and all the pieces i mean it's a pitiful cave over there now in the corner compared to what it used to be but i did thumbtack the the crap out of the back of it to ensure that this ever this won't happen again you know the fabric will rip before uh, my cave is coming back down on the floor and it just surprises me that one of the uh, two of the pieces just straight up shattered there's wow that was a lot of weight. My friends heard it in the other room, and were just they heard me scream no, followed by the sound of doom. If any of you have ever had a bunch of Lego structures fall from a shelf at the same time, you know that sound. I didn't want to ever know that sound, and that sound is not ever going away. I really wish I could have got it on camera. That's my only regret from it. Um, I'm looking at this as an opportunity to build more cave and uh, change how everything goes. I've, you know, a lot of those pieces were older. They were betas and alphas on the cave system that just kept getting redone. So it made sense that a lot of them just could not withstand the impact. They, they just weren't sturdy enough. I hadn't developed good building techniques to ensure sturdiness. Though, I'm going to miss my atriums. They're in there somewhere. Uh, 
my poor atriums. Now those were the, the, the weakest pieces, but they weren't really ever meant to have anything heavy on top of them because they're atriums. But I showcased my atriums, my two atrium pieces, in, um, in a video that I did on this channel. So if you want to check that out, go ahead. Now, I've spent about a minute and a half, maybe two, three minutes talking about Legos on a video where I'm supposed to be teaching you how to transform Twin Twist from his robot mode to his vehicle mode. And, um, well, I guess I should get to that. Hmm. Should I do another video on it, though? Nah, no, nah, no. Nah, nah. We're just going to do it live. We're just going to all do it together. Also, Twin Twist's transformation is a lot of fun. And I enjoy having good news after bad news. So after giving you that terrible news that the majority of that beautiful cave thing that I built is gone, even even the the mountainside. Oh, the mountainside. That was Seawall's favorite piece. He built it himself. Oh, Seawall's going to be upset. Seawall, I'm sorry that my cat destroyed your mountainside. You're going to have to come over and hang hang out when you get back from Germany and build it again. Oh, no. It's... But I collected most of the pieces, so it should work out. All right, let's get into Twin Twist here before I just keep talking and blathering on. So to start the transformation of Twin Twist, you want to first remove both of his guns from where they are. There we go. Both of his guns are removed. Now we're going to go ahead and pop off his head. His head can just come off. And you now since we're at it, are you going to... There you go. Cool. We're going to go ahead and transform the head. So to transform the head, all you do is... Find where the head's at. Find where this little knob is on the back of the head. You know, you got the face, and then on the very back, you got a little knob, like he's got he's got a bit of a mullet. You want to pull that all the way up, and then on either side of the little body of the robot that's revealed, you want to just kind of pull up his arms. I know, no elbow joints in there, and I, that that I, I wish they would just do that. I know it would be a little difficult, but I'm sure it can happen. And we got to make sure his little face is visible. I think that's his face right there. Yeah. I'm pretty sure I got his little face visible. So we can set him over here. He can hang out with the guns. Okay, now let's finish transforming this guy. And I do love headmasters and how they, they kind of act like uh, uh, mecha. You know, the little pilots are the headmasters and then the, uh, the Autobots and Decepticons are the mecha. Which is kind of cool, but also uh, makes me feel weird because I'm not really into, you know, controlling people like that and freaks me out so you're know, combining those two people together i'm like but the autonomy of of twin twist is ruined uh, but you know what that's that's a discussion for another day let's get into how he transforms so his transformation is very fun and i can see why people really liked him so you want to pull the treads go ahead and click them twice on their little ratchets so that they fit far out from one another this is just going to help out when uh, we're transforming it and then raise both hands up and kind of lower them down and uh, now let's go ahead and put the hands into these hand areas. So let's find the little clasp that allow this thing to bend. I always forget where it's at. Man, I always had the worst luck with these. Okay, so when to undo the clasp and allow the hand to fold in, reach down the back of the arm and feel this negative zone that appears right on the other side of the elbow. Now, don't, don't mess with it where the elbow hinges, but you want to go directly opposite that hinge area. And that entire area is going to fold upwards. It's a big flat spot and it's going to fold up. And then this hand is going to rotate backwards in there. And after you do that, then this entire arm assembly, the upper arm is going to fold into that location and you're going to go and collapse that back down. So we're going to follow that same step on this side. We're going to fold the arm out, you know, hinge it at the elbow so I can, so you can find the little panel, then rotate the hand in. Then you're going to go ahead and fold everything in, and you're going to close that panel. And there you go. You've got both of the arms transformed. Good job. Now, we're going to do some the fun parts of this transformation. So he's got a little uh, cockpit on his back, and um, you want to pick the canopy up so it raises above where his head would be. And that's going to allow these uh, the, the twin drills to move down just a bit, and that's about it you want to do with them. Because right now, we got to unclasp the... Legs. So you want to break this guy in half. Straight up, you want to take one of his you know, his uh, front body in one hand, and then his legs in the other, and then right at his hip area, put one thumb on his crotch and one thumb just above his crotch, and then boom, you're going to, well, uh, 
on the main body because it's going to hinge right above the crotch area. You want to make sure you clear that zone. Now you've gotten this kind of broken up, and you know he now he can look down. This is great. This is some great articulation here. So now what we do is the fun part. I love this. I love it when transformers do this. It just makes me happy to see these weird joints. So he's got he's folded forward all the way like he's looking down at some weird ant on the ground. Now you want to spin his upper body 180 degrees, but hold on to the legs and make sure that this this uh, area that was his chest doesn't really move much because his body above the chest or behind the chest is actually going to rotate. And that's a really cool feature. I like that. Now that that's happened, the section that the uh, was plugged into the legs is now sitting out here in the front. You know what that is a perfect fit for? Our little drills. I love it. I love how, how, how that works. And then the canopy folds down onto the drills. And then we're just going to go ahead and fold both of these arms forwards all the way on their little sockets. And then we're going to deal with the rest of the body. But you can fold them forwards on their shoulders. And they're going to come down and clasp into place very nicely. Very, very nicely. I just, I like how this guy transforms. It's a fun one. Now, let's move to the back of the legs. And these legs are going to transform pretty well too. So what you want to do is find the back of the knee and then use the knee, the little negative zone at the back of the knee to fold the panel up that is on the back of each leg. And it's going to just fold up. It's going to work out pretty well. Okay, now we're going to go ahead and spin these legs 180 degrees. Trust me on that one. And then you're going to do some more fun things. First, the foot is going to fold forwards. I know, it's going to fold forwards into the uh, the lower part of the leg to make a big flat platform at the end. Then, it's going to reveal some engine nozzles and stuff on the back, so that's really cool. Now, all of this is going to fold inwards, and you're just going to kind of fold the thigh into the leg, and you can have an easier time of it by folding up this... Uh, this uh, vent knee pad that we talked about in my More Than Meets the Eye video. So we're going to just fold that in, and it's going to just kind of squeeze on down and fold in on itself. And, and these, these are fun. I love how they can get legs out of the way. And then each of those parts just kind of clasps into place. Those little vents fold down. You can also kind of fold those little vents up um, to, to kind of give an emphasis of maybe he's shooting some missiles from deep within. That, I like that. I like that he's got little panel doors now for the car. And then these are just going to fold up until you hear some clicks. Make sure everything is snapped into place. And then you're going to fold the little tank treads on, down to finish it out. And there you go. You've got yourself a little drill tank. <clears throat> now, let's give it a driver and weaponry. So you're going to pick up the canopy. And you're going to put little... little uh, twin twists uh, head right in here. There we go. Just gonna hang out in there. And he sits in there very well. I like how he how he snaps into place. He even sort of feels like you, you were putting, you're transforming apart. And then these guns, they'll fit on either side at this, uh, at this siege port that's on his lower leg area. We talked about in the video. So, go on the more than meets the eye video. And there we go. And... Yeah, um, he's got some parts to him that are interesting, and we're definitely going to be talking about that on the video where I review his, the, his vehicle mode. But, this is how you transform Twin Twist into his vehicle mode. Please tune in next Prime, where we will be discussing how you know, the, the review and an in-depth review on Twin Twist vehicle mode, and talk about drill tanks. Thank you for watching, and have a great day. Until next Prime.